Welcome to We Repair. Um, so today we are working on a Samsung Galaxy AO2S. Uh, this is more just an informational video. Uh, I keep getting asked about different models. The process is the same on all of them, but I will keep presenting the information if people ask me for it. Uh, so again, we're doing a, a password reset, um, factory reset, uh, removal, whatever you want to call it. If you you cleaned up it, can't speak. If your device is malfunctioning and you need to clean it up, or if it's got a virus on it, or there's apps that you're struggling to get rid of, then this is the process to, to, to wipe the device and remove all the information. Please note it won't clear the SD card, um, but it should clear everything else. The only thing it won't do, if you have it, if you're trying to basically reset it to get back in, it and the device is linked to an Apple account or a mobile device management platform, it, it may not be wipeable. You might reset it and then get presented straight back with a username and password. I can't do anything about that unfortunately. It's, it's very much like the Apple iCloud lock. There are a few ways to bypass it. There's lots of videos out there so I'm not, not going to do anything on that today. Um, so this is our device. Uh, we've sort of made the assumption that it's, it's locked and we don't have the pin. Uh, obviously I do have the pin as this is my device um, but I will show you a couple of ways to wipe it. So first of all, I will show you how to do it on the assumption you don't have the information you can't get into the device. Second way I will show you is how to factory reassess it if you know the pin. Right, so very first thing we've got to do is get this turned off. Uh, so let's just do that. Right, so with the device off, uh, you need to hold the, power, the volume up button and the power button together. Once the device turns on, you can release the power button, but you need to continue holding the volume up button. So let's do that. So you'll hear it, feel it vibrate. Samsung logo will come on the screen, hold the volume up. Do not let go of the volume up until you get to the next Android -y screen. Uh, there we go. So the Android recovery will come up. It will disappear very quickly and the device should load up just like that. Okay. Let's try and get my camera to focus and then we can show you what to do. So very first thing we need to do is press the volume down key uh, until we get to wipe uh, data factory reset. So pressing the volume down, you'll get to that. And then you need to press the power button, select it. And then you need to confirm it. And again, down, down arrow key and the power button. And then at the bottom of the screen, it will start processing and saying that it's it's going to go through the wipe process. And once it's completed, at the very, very bottom, it will say data wipe complete. Um, and that effectively is it. The next thing you need to do is press the power button and it will reboot the system. And just like that, the phone should be wiped and reset. Now, as I said, this is assuming that there is no account on there. If there was an account on the phone, at the point you start going through the setup screens, you'll be uh, prompted to type in your email address and your password for your Google account. As I say, there are a couple of ways to bypass it, and uh, they are fairly convoluted uh, and, and quite painful, but lots of YouTube guides out there if you want to know how to do it, have a search and you'll soon find one. So I will let this rebuild. Once it comes back, we'll hop into the second option that's assuming you know the pin of how to wipe it. So as I said to you at the start of the video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this. Um, so this is the second way. So if you want to work through the reset and you're in the operating system, the process is quite straightforward. Uh, so very first thing you need to do is head on over to your settings. Once you're in the settings, uh, you then need to go into general management and then reset. And then finally, you need to go to factory data reset and reset again. Now that will take out any problems you've got. It will reset the phone. It will wipe everything. Uh, you will lose your photos, any information that's on the device, that sort of stuff. The only thing that you will retain is what's on the SD card. Uh, so if there is an SD card installed, then that will, that information will be kept. Um, yeah, and that, that's about it really. Uh, so I've walked you through the process of resetting the password if you don't know the pin to get into it. I've walked you through the process of resetting it when you do know the pin 
to get into the device as well. Either way, we'll wipe the device, it will remove everything on it, but it should also get rid of any passwords. The only thing, as I say, that you may have problems with, if you've got it linked to a Google account, that information will be retained a bit like um, iCloud lock from Apple. Um, so you will need to know that information to fully wipe the device. Uh, but otherwise, it's a pretty straightforward process. As I say, the SD card will be the only thing that remains intact. Anyway, if you've liked the video, uh, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, uh, join the membership side really helps me. It's only 99p a month. Uh, and it allows me to invest in, in more equipment for the channel and, and buy more broken kit to, to repair and walk you guys through. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.